Good morning guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to this brand new video. So in today's video I am collaborating with Goo Goo Hair, so before I do get into it then I just want to say a big massive thank you to them. They have also given me a discount code for you guys, so make sure you do stick around and take note of that discount code when I put it on screen. I will leave all the details in the description box as well. I do want to start off this video by saying a big massive welcome to all of you new subscribers. I've seen a huge influx of subscribers in the past week, so thank you so much if you've took the time to hit that subscribe button. And I do hope that you've hit that notification bell. By hitting that notification bell, that will allow YouTube to notify you every time that I upload a video. Now, touching on every time that I upload a video, I just want to let you know that I've decided that every time a brand wants to collaborate with me, I will be bringing it in a bonus upload, which means I'm going to stick to my usual Thursday and Sunday upload but that will be come shop with me's, shopping hauls, what I've picked up in Primark, things like that, speed cleans. But any collaboration now will be a bonus upload. So sometimes you are going to get two uploads a week. And if there's a collaboration involved that week, you'll get three. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so I took my tape and hair extensions out about five weeks now and I have to say I've been missing them. I've let my hair have a little bit of time away from tapes. Now, it has only been five weeks and I think after about two, I was ready for a new set of tapes. So Goo Goo have reached out and have asked if I want to try some more tapings. I haven't got a problem with Goo Goo, I've never had a problem with their hair extensions. So I did want to show you just what is involved when you get some tapings. Now I've opted for the same tapings that I had last time, which I believe are the highlighted tapes. I will leave all the information of these hair extensions down below in the description box. I'm not sure now what colour I did choose because I went and got my hair done at the salon and I've had that done about two weeks now. I like to put my taping hair extensions in after I've had my colour on my hair for about two weeks so that that way it just blends really well. So Goo Goo have sent me two boxes of their taping hair extensions. Now these are in a different box this time. I actually like this box Goo Goo. The packaging is so much better than previous packaging. So they did send me two boxes and that is because I like to put two boxes in my hair. So I am going to show you what my hair is looking like at the moment. And it is, obviously I've had a clip in so I've got a little bit of kink here. But it's not that long. So I have only had about five weeks and I've not seen much growth at all. But to be fair, when I don't have my tapings in, I tend to just shot my hair back like this. Now I am so warm because for some reason in the UK at the minute we are getting amazing weather so I just need to open the window because I don't think I can carry on filming if I haven't got a window open so bear with me. That is so much better. I am so warm, the sun isn't even out yet, but I know it's going to come out. So moving back onto the tapings, which I do have to put in, and it's going to be warm. So I always opt for the two boxes because I just like that more fuller look. And I always go for the longest length that Goo Goo do, which is 24 inches. So in each box, you get a set of replacement tapes. Now, I don't really have any hair extensions that have come out. So I've never had to use these. But if one of your tapings do come out, then you just replace the tape and apply it back in exactly the same way as you would if you were just installing them. 
you also get your sectioning clip now i've got loads of these and they are all from google so they do have the brand on there so google now each pack of hair comes in a little sealy bag like this and they are in a little net so this is the color that i've gone for now when i opened these up i thought these look a little bit too light for my hair but i'm gonna see because i've never ever been disappointed with the color match of goo goo sometimes when i look and i think they're not gonna match you're gonna be able to tell that these are hair extensions now what i will do i will insert some photographs on screen of previous tapings that i've got from goo goo the look that i do with them <clears throat> sorry but I've never been disappointed with the colour match because every time that I've used these tapings they've always blended in so well so I'm hoping that it's going to be the same in this video so these are what the tapings look like so as I said I've gone for the 24 inch I always go for the longest if we're putting tapings in then we need to go for the longest look at that colour it's absolutely beautiful now I do believe this is the ash blonde I'm sure I went for the ash blonde I will leave everything in the description box below so obviously when I've got these out and I've thought these are not going to match these are too light but when I do this look at that they are going to match perfectly and this is what i'm saying about goo goo i've never had a problem with their color match so even if i do it on this side where there's a little bit more dark you wouldn't you're not going to be able to see that these are tapings now i have tried clippings from goo goo as well i've tried the double drawn hair extensions i did a video on that as well so i will leave an info card here so if you're not wanting tapings then you can get the double drawn clippings again they are fantastic i've actually been using my clippings while my tapes have been out but i'll always go back to tapes so these are the tapings i absolutely love them so i am going to go off screen and put these in because i have brought a video on how i put these in previously so it will be in one of my playlists um, I will leave what it's, I think it's in reviews, if I'm not mistaken. I've worked so much with Google that I can't remember which playlists that the hair extension videos are in. But I am going to pop these in. So all we do, now Katie does put these in for me because if I do them, they do go a little bit wrong. So Katie does put them in. Katie's actually out at the moment. That's why I'm filming this part of the video. But she has said that when she comes in, she's more than happy to be my little hairdresser and she'll pop them in for me. So all we do is we get a tape and we get a small section, teeniest tiny section of hair and we sandwich the hair into the tapes. And then we just put a little bit of heat on the top of the tape to activate the glue and that is it we do three or four at the bottom and then we just work our way up and then we do the side ones but we do the side ones on an angle because i do like to have my hair up a lot um especially for work if you've been here for some time you'll know i don't have my hair down for work we're not allowed to for infection control purposes but i've never been disappointed with these hair extensions so i'm hoping that when katie puts these in today for me then I will just feel so much better, so much put together. And you'll probably see a lot more photos over on my Instagram, which does remind me, I do have Instagram, TikTok and Facebook for this channel. So I will leave all the information for that down below. So now I just need to wait for Katie to come in from the shop to put my tape and hair extensions in. When you put tapings in, you can't wash your hair for 24 hours. I leave it 48 hours but and I don't really like to apply heat to my hair extensions but I can't wait to get these heatless curls in 
if you know, you know, I love doing heatless curls. They stay in all day, especially when you've got really long hair. A little bit jealous of all you girls that have got long hair, but hey ho, in the next half an hour, I will have beautiful long hair as well. So, the next bit of this video, you will see me with my new hair. And just like that, guys, we are done. The hair extensions have all been installed and I have to say, I am so happy. Look at the colour match. How beautiful is this colour? Now I do think it helps because I've got that root stretch. So even if these tips were a little bit darker, then they would still go because my root is dark. But it took in total 35 minutes to install these. 35 minutes to have a transformation. I always feel so much better when I've got my hair extensions in, especially taping hair extensions. So I just want to say a big massive thank you to Gugu because without them, I would not be able to have these beautiful hair extensions. I've mentioned it before, I absolutely love Goo Goo hair extensions and they have given me a discount code for you guys as well. So that discount code is ATN15 and that'll get you 15% off at checkout. Please don't forget that I do have two boxes in my hair. So if you're gonna buy one pack, it may be a little bit thin where I do like two packs because I like to have quite a lot of hair. Now, I don't wear my hair extensions straight and I know it's such a shame because they are beautiful straight. But because my hair is naturally straight and it doesn't hold a curl, when I've got hair extensions in, I love to be able to curl them. I do curl my hair extensions with heatless curls because I don't like putting heat on my hair extensions, I just think it doesn't make them look nice and it doesn't, they don't last as long. So I will get about six to eight weeks out of these before I start to notice hair growth and tapes have come down the hair shaft. So normally about six to eight weeks I get out of my tapings. You'll see so much content on Instagram if you are following me because now I've got these tapings in. I will just be taking photographs constantly, especially when I've got my heatless curls in. So unfortunately for Katie, she's going to bed with heatless curls for the next up and coming weeks. And she absolutely hates it when I've got my heatless curls in. But this is what we do when we don't want to put heat on our hair. I am so impressed with the colour match. Like what I said, I was a little bit sceptical that these were going to be a little bit too light. But now that I've got them in, they match perfectly. Underneath is a little bit darker on my hair. So you can see here, this is my natural hair. And this is the tapings. So you can see that I have still got a little bit of darkness underneath there. And I like that. It gives them depth. So when I take my tapings out, I do actually use a taping remover. You can use things like hair oil, sanitizer, things like that. I've read loads of different people um, that are taking their tapings out with different solutions, but I do tend to use the remover. So if you want to see a video of me removing my taping hair extensions, let me know. But that won't be just yet because I have already just had them in and it won't be for another six to eight weeks that I take these out. I have missed my tapings so much. Don't forget to take advantage of that discount code if you're wanting to try tapings. Also a big massive thank you to Gugu for working with me again. You know I love bringing Gugu videos to you guys. Let me know if there's anything down below content wise that you would like to see in future. And don't forget, any collaborations now will be a bonus upload. So I am going to take my youngest daughter to work. The sun has started to come out, so I'm definitely going to need to take this off. And you just enjoy the rest of the day, whatever it is you're doing. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.